Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Soldier Kings, the Seven Years War Worldwide from Avalanche Press. I think I owned a copy of this before and didn't get a chance to play it, but I could have swore the other copy that I had years back had a different cover on and it was a different size box, but I could be wrong. Anyhow, let's see what this is all about. In 1756, two clashes exploded into the first worldwide conflict. While Maria Theresa of Austria and Frederick the Great of Prussia fought to dominate Central Europe, Britain and France dueled for control of world trade. Armies and navies fought in India, the Americas, and of course in Europe. Which soldier king or queen w would rule the world? And it says it takes three to eight hours. Ugh. Maybe it's hopefully it's eight hours for the campaign game and not just for uh, some of the scenarios. Uh, two to eight players, scale global, and talk about the size of the playing pieces. And rule book is twelve pages. That's a good idea to put that on there because that gives you a good idea of how long it's going to take to learn the game. If it's a 100 page rule book, some people may not uh, want to learn the game, but if it's 12 pages, uh, they may want to do so. Alright, let's take a quick look at the components. Let me show, show you all the counters. This is used. I got it used. Looks like he did a good job uh, sorting out the counters. The artwork on them looks pretty good. I don't know what these are for, maybe for uh, drawing a random number, I guess, instead of dice, maybe. Alright, here's the cards. We'll just go through uh, one of them. Minor Country Alliance. Caribbean Hurricane. Irregulars. East India Company troops, false orders and bad intelligence, minor country alliance, location assistance, and winter campaign. Alright, let's take a look in here and take a look at the game rules. Rule book is 16 pages. But, but I think as the back cover indicated, it was only 12 pages of rules. So, the rest may just be charts or something. Going over the components. And pre preparation for, uh, for play. And here's sequence of play. There's a purchase phase. An initiative phase. And an action phase. An action phase consists of naval movement, naval combat, land movement, land combat, and sieging. Looks like there's winter turns and it's going over the event cards. And you can do retreat before battle. And it's going into land combat examples there. And blockading. <coughs> Interception, which I mean, I think is uh, naval interception. Here's transporting armies with the navy. It's just started hailing outside. You're hearing hail hit the house and my car outside. Yuck! They look like they're the size of uh, dice falling out of the sky. <laughs> All right, going into sieges. It actually doesn't look too complicated. Oh, and you have diplomacy too. Got bribery, that's cool. Interesting game. Looks like you win with uh, victory points. And in the one year scenarios, uh, the player who scores the highest deck victory points uh, wins. Holy shit, that's coming down there. <laughs> Hope I don't get any dents on my car from that hail coming down. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Little player's aid card. Minor country alliance modifiers. Minor country forces. 
And here's the automatic victory table, what you have to do for that to occur, and sequence of play, and a cost chart. Interesting. This is kind of cool. And let's look, see how many scenarios we have here. Scenario 1, 1756. Scenario 2, 1757. And the third is 1758. And fourth, 1759, 1760, 1761, and 1762. So a, a scenario for every year of the war. And then there's a campaign scenario too. That's cool. Before we look at the map, let's, or there's actually two maps it seems. What's this here? Initiative track and a resource and manpower track. Interesting. Let's see what this map looks like. I wasn't sure if this game was going to interest me because I had it before. I, I don't know why I got rid of it because this actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, nice map of Europe. It's point to point and stuff and you keep track of the game turns and uh, whether it's spring, summer, fall, or winter. And it's got a legend here. Yeah, this looks kind of cool. Oh, cool. Up here you have India, and then down here you have the South China Seas, the Bay of Bengal, and the Spice Islands and stuff. And here you have the United States, that's awesome. Worldwide naval movement, and this really was a world war. You got Africa here too, and it's also showing uh, the stuff that was going on in so South America and the Caribbean. So this is nice. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.